Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to look at filling a shape with a pattern that isn't really a pattern. This is what we're going to do. We're going to create a heart filled shape and this design looks like it might be a pattern but it actually isn't. It's actually a sort of mirrored design and because it's a mirrored design we can't create it as a pattern. But we can create it pretty easily, so let's see how we're going to do that. I'm going to choose File and New. I'm going to make a new document that's 1920 by 1080 pixels in size. You can make yours whatever size you like. I'm going to the Rectangle tool. I'm going to click once in my document, and I'm going to start with a shape that is a square, and it's going to be 30 pixels by 30 pixels. You can make yours whatever size you like. So let's go and select this shape. Let's give it a Fill but no stroke. and Let's give it a nicer fill. So we're going to start with this sort of pinky red color. I'm going to the selection tool. I'm going to alt drag a duplicate of this shape down, just making sure I line it up. We're going to perfect the lining up in a minute, so don't worry if it's not great right now. Let's choose another color. And we're going to do this two more times. Now you can do this as many times as you want. You're just going to have to scale up the rest of the project. So it depends how many colors you want. The original that I was asked to reproduce was four colored. So that's what I'm doing here. So we now have four colored squares and they're all 30 by 30. We want to make sure that they're lined up perfectly. And to do this, I'm going to go to the Align panel. If you don't see yours, you can choose Window and Align. I've got these four shapes selected. I'm just going to click on one of them. doesn't matter which one, but that allows me to select over here, Align to Key Object. I'm going to make sure this value here is zero and click to make sure that they are aligned so that they're butting up against each other. There's no space between them. While I'm here, I'm also going to click here on Horizontal Line Center because I want to make sure they are perfectly aligned before I do the next step. So let's just move out with Control or Command Z. I'm just going to place my shapes in the middle of the screen here. I'm going to select them and choose Effect, Distort and Transform and then Transform because we don't want to have to do the work here. We'd like Illustrator to do it for us. To see what we're going to do, we're going to move these shapes horizontally. So I'm just going to kick them up until they sit side by side, and that is 30 pixels. In other words, the width of these shapes is what I use as my horizontal move. And the height of the shapes is going to be my vertical move. So I'm going to move them 30 pixels as well. So I've offset this set of shapes from this one. All I need to do now is to start increasing this number. If I hold the shift key as I tap in the copies box, tap with the up arrow key, I'll go up 10 at a time. If, if I press up arrow key all by itself, then I'll just do one at a time. I'm going to click OK because this is perfect. I'm going to select this object here. Now in earlier versions of Illustrator, you might select the whole group of objects in the most recent versions. You're only selecting the things that have the transform applied to them. We're going to choose Edit Copy. And then this is critical, edit, paste in place. In other words, put a duplicate of this entire shape on top of the existing shape. We'll go to the appearance panel. You can get to that by choosing window and then appearance. And then we're just going to double click on transform to open up this transform panel. And we're going to change the horizontal move to minus 30. And so now we've got this sort of angled look. I'll click OK. Next up, we're going to select everything. So we have two shapes on top of each other. We need to make sure that we deselect everything and then reselect the two shapes. Now we're going to do one final transformation. Effect, distort and transform, and then transform. This time, we just want to move these shapes in a downwards direction. And we want to move them so that they all move down a full set. So there's four of these at 30 pixels each. So the vertical movement is going to be 120 pixels. You can see it's sitting right below the existing set. And now let's just increase the number of copies. And we want to do that until we sort of fill our document. I'll click OK. At this point, I can move this set of shapes up a bit. So I bring the elements more into the center of my document. At this point, if I want to for example, fill a heart with these. This is what I'm going to do. Just press D to get the default colors. I'm going to make black my fill color and I'm going to remove my stroke. I'm going to the 
pen tool because I'm just going to create a heart. So I'm going to drag upwards here to get my heart started. I'm going to come all the way down to the bottom here and drag to make my heart shape. I'll press escape to finish off. Now I'll hold the spacebar down so I can move my document back to where it came from. Let's just move our heart up. At this point we could make it a bit bigger if we wanted to. Now I've got half a heart, I need a whole heart. With it selected I'm going to choose Object, Transform and then Reflect. I'm going to reflect it over the vertical and I'm going to make a copy of it. So that gives me two of these half heart shapes. I'm going to drag this one across holding the shift key so it's lining up perfectly with the first one. I'll select both of these. Let's make sure that they're both selected. And we can go across here to the Pathfinder tool and click Unite. And that will give us a single heart shape. Next up, I'm going to make sure that the heart shape is centered exactly over this transformation. So I'm going to select the transformation shapes, which are these ones up the top. The rest of these are not actually selectable. You can only select the ones in the middle up the top here and my heart shape. We're going to go back to the align panel and we're going to go and repeat that selection. So we're just going to reselect the heart at this point, which gives us access to this align to key object option. In this case, we just want to center everything. So I'm just going to click on center. Everything's working just perfectly. Let's go back and select everything and we're just going to make a clipping mask. So I've got my transformation selected and my heart. Right click and choose make clipping mask. So here we have a heart shape. Of course, it could be any shape at all filled with this thing that is not a pattern but can be very, very easily produced using the transform feature in Adobe Illustrator. Before we finish up, I have more Illustrator training at Skillshare.com. When you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes there, including over 250 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you, which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer, and typically mine will be better. I also have Illustrator training at Udemy.com, and there's a referral link for every one of these courses in the description below. Please feel free to share this with family, friends and co-workers. Thank you to the person who asked for this video. I think it's a really good little project, nice and simple to do, but not self-evident as to how you might do it, which of course makes these videos a lot more interesting. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please, if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and you'll be alerted when a new video is released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.